Hi friends, it's Murph. Welcome to my kitchen. Tonight I'm going to share one of my favorite recipes with you. Hey, I say that a lot, don't I? Everything's my favorite. Well, this one really is one of my favorites, which is why I'm going to share it. I like food. I like to make food. I sure like to eat food. And I like other people to like my food that I make as well. So here goes. This is my meatloaf recipe. I've tried a lot of different recipes. I found this one a million years ago in a back of a Taste of Home magazine and I've been using it ever since. It's really good. So don't turn up your nose when you hear the ingredients. You need to try it and it's really good. Okay? Trust me. Okay, so we're gonna make meatloaf. But I like to make them in individual sizes because I've tried this recipe and put it in like a big loaf pan. It doesn't come out as good. So I'm just gonna show you. So I take, um, I use ground turkey, not always. Sometimes I'll use hamburger. This comes in a 10 pound log, frozen. I get it at Naples. Shout out to my brother there because he cuts it up in, this happens to be two pounds. So I can get it one pound or two pounds. So thanks Keith. I appreciate it. So about two pounds of meat. Then we're gonna add an egg. So far you're not grossed out with the ingredients, right? Okay. And then we're gonna add a little bit of salt. And some pepper. Okay. This is where you're going to get kind of weirded out on me. We're going to add some milk. And we're going to add some oats. I'm going to put my gloves on just because so I can touch my camera or i got my rings on still. I don't always, but... And then we're going to mix it up. You can add <clears throat> chopped onion if you want. I wouldn't stray too far off once you get the consistency because um, you definitely want to have it fine together. And wait for the topping. That's the best part. Yep. Didn't quite add all the milk yet. worry about writing everything down. I'll post a picture of my recipe card at the end, okay? Oop. Sometimes I make quite a mess when I cook. I'm so grateful Wayne's here to pick up after me. He fills the dishwasher, washes all the dishes, doesn't complain. Well, maybe a little bit. Okay, so that's basically it. All right now, I know you can't see it, so I'm gonna just move for a quick second. I have a cookie sheet over here. I greased it up. And now I'm gonna put them into like patties. So I'm gonna do like six individual meatloafs. We're gonna put a topping on it, and that, trust me, is the best part. It just makes everything just perfect. So the oatmeal and the milk, I know that sounds really weird, but honestly, it's, it's very tender and tasty. Um, I really like it a lot. So like I said, the, um, the key is the topping. That's the part that's so good. So you wanna make sure that you spread it on all of them. So I just kinda of make like little patties. I'll show you after. I'm gonna take my gloves off. All right, let's get these things off. I'll slide everything out of the way. Now we'll make the topping. So see so far, just kinda of like patties. So I did about a half a cup of ketchup and a tablespoon of brown sugar. And we're gonna use about a tablespoon of just regular mustard. I'm gonna give that a mix. So you're gonna bake it at 350. 
probably about 45 minutes. And the topping, it kind of get caramelized with the brown sugar. This is like a little bit of heaven right in a bowl. It just like smells good. I mean, who doesn't like ketchup? And then you add sugar to it, mustard for a little bit of flavor. Yummy. Okay. So basically all I'm gonna do, move you just a little bit so you can see that. I'm gonna put it right on top. I've been known to make a double batch of topping just because I like it so much. Wayne and I are a big fan of this recipe. And it's really not hard. It's pretty quick to whip it up. While that's baking, add a little bit of um, a vegetable as your side dish or you throw it in a big potato or whatever works for you. But basically, you're just going to spread it around so that it's all coated nice. And that's basically what it looks like. Trust me, you'll love this one. I hope you try it. Enjoy. Hope you're all safe and healthy. And please reach out with any questions. Talk to you soon.